guys, Omni here. Last trailer that came out today that I wanted to talk about. I didn't get to talk about the first trailer for this. I just didn't have the time to get around to it. Uh, this is a franchise that just purely out of dumb action fun that I love, given it didn't really start that way, but it definitely descended into some really entertaining popcorn films, and that is the Fast and Furious franchise. I have loved this series. I've watched it since the very first one, which, as everybody points out, is a very convincing Point Break remake, but the 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 dom and uh brian uh relationship with vin diesel and paul walker was something that carried on throughout the films that was really really the big draw on top of the action the 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 different characters and like you know how it goes from a very standard cops and robbers street race film into complete super spy jumping off of buildings with cars air dropping cars we're fighting the tank in the street with our supercars kind of madness and you know that sometimes a franchise needs that to stay a little spicy you know you, you can't take it seriously for that long with this kind of a ridiculous premise and they've even talked about eventually they plan on going to space what the heck but there we now have our first fast and furious spinoff uh, since the actual like cast itself is fracturing under this relationship with Universal and The Rock and this tension between Vin Diesel and The Rock himself in these films, they, uh, from what I gather, do not get along at all. And who knows? I know they still plan on doing, I think, like uh, two more, two or three more mainline fast movies, but we got... Our first spinoff with the Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Jason Statham in Hobbs and Shaw. And let's check out the second official trailer. I actually haven't even seen the first trailer, but well, here we are. Second trailer. Let's go. Pick a door. All right, then. No, that's my door. Pick another door. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you know what? You were right. This is your door. What's the matter? You got a lot of bad guys behind that door? <laughs> Oh, what? <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? I love this dynamic. Access granted. Access denied. Access denied. <laughs> What? <laughs> Luke Hobbs and Decker Shaw. We've got unfinished business. Shaw's sister. I. From me. Shaw's got a sister now? It could wipe out half the population, and I want it back. All right, we got a super virus. What we're dealing with here? It's my sister. Family business. When it's the fate of the world, it becomes my business. This whole thing sounds really dodgy. Look after your sister. Listen, what is up with the Shaw family, man? We survived this working together like a team. Let's do this. Buckle up, fat boy. On my three. One. Oh! <laughs> hey, see the look on his face? You have no idea how long I've been waiting to do that. Yeah, yeah. Cause it's one The music's already started. See if we can get him sick. This is a freaking so cartoon. Hunted by an army of mercenaries led by a genetically enhanced soldier. What? I mean, oh my god. Oh, I'm crazy. Black Superman. <laughs> Damn. He really is Black Superman. You need to get off the grid. Where? Home. Yeah. My baby's come home. I'm sorry to bring trouble here, Mama, but I need my brothers. What? Is going to war. We're gonna need cars and guns. Or Mama, where's all our guns? Spears. Very noble, Mrs. Hobbs. No one sure is trouble. That's an understatement. Let's get old school. Dude, really? What? 
even happen? <laughs> I don't care. That's awesome. from racing cars and stealing DVD players to we've had they've saved the world multiple times and now we have a virus that can wipe out the planet's population we have a genetically enhanced super soldiers that they're fighting or well a super soldier uh, the only one we know about is Idris Elba's character which Idris Elba is just a treasure in and of itself and black Superman, as he puts it, which is hilarious. Or like black Captain America, I guess. I mean, if he was Superman, be flying around shooting lasers and anyway. Oh, not the point. And then we just have some more ridiculous car stuff. We got a Maui family just like like old school, like spears and axes attacking these people because they don't have guns which is just adrenaline testosterone pumping in and of itself with them doing like their little ritual shouts and stuff like that. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Hakas. I think it's a Haka. Um, and then just the Shaw family just being involved in even more of this stuff. I, not that it mattered in the previous ones, but I feel like it centered around, Deckard and Luke Evans, uh, Shaw, the brother, uh, from what was it? Seven, six, six or seven. I can't remember. Uh, after, they kind of, after a while, the villains kind of blended together. Um, and, but it's just crazy what they like do here. Like the rock is a borderline superhuman in this. Like, especially that huge dude that was, like, ridiculously tall. He just one-shot punches him. And I love that because The Rock is just... And like It goes back to, like, the last one where he's got the cast and he literally broke his arm, like, earlier that day or that week. And he just, like, daddy's got to go to work. Flexes his cast off and then goes to, like, straight wreck some people by tearing a Gatling gun off of a helicopter and using it as a weapon. But we've had the same instances where Vin Diesel stomps a parking garage that's falling apart and his little measly human body weight was enough to shift all of the concrete by stomping on it. Uh, and then in this, you have the rock, you know, four, like a daisy chain of four cars are getting pulled away by this helicopter that is chained to their, the, their uh, caboose of a train car. Um, and, you know, the deciding factor might be the rock wraps his arm around the chain that the helicopter is attached to and uses his gigantic biceps to pull a helicopter back. Are you kidding me? And I know they want to go to space. Uh, who knows? There could be like lasers and, you know, interstellar dog fights in the next one. Like this is stupid. This is so stupid. And I feel freaking love it i i i just do this is dumb dumb as heck man and it looks like a lot of fun it looks like a lot of laughs um i don't know the one like the one criticism a lot of people have had is like are we really supposed to like accept shaw into the family he did kind of like you know kill han uh and a lot of other people kind of kind of 
Are we just gonna ignore that? I mean, I know he helped in the last one, but I feel like eh, gotta... makes a little more sense for this because it's not. This has no attachment to the Dom family. That whole sect of this universe. This is purely on the government side of things, where they're just like, oh, well, we'll need we need your help for this mission because of your skill set, and I believe that rather than you know Dom's team and crew like really accepting me, even though he got to have the barbecue moment at the end of eight, which is whatever, it's fine. It after Paul Walker died, like, and see, uh, I was about to say season seven, uh, uh, fast seven wrapped up that whole arc. And to me, that's where fast and furious spiritually ended. Um, and everything after has just been just ridiculous, dumb fun. I, I don't go into it expecting thought. I go into it expecting just a ridiculous action movie at this point. And that's what we get. Eight wasn't that great. Uh, it was still fun. It was, it was a little grating at some points, but it it's fine. It's hard to top seven and seven's not even the, I don't know, man. It's tough between which one's actually the best fast movie. Seven's, oh, it's between seven and I think five for me. I think it's seven and five. Um, I don't know. It's it's hard. The first one's so good too. Anyway, um, I don't know. I'm I'm excited. I might check it out. Uh, definitely, definitely looks like a good time. Might be worth the tickets and some popcorn. So we'll see. Anyway, guys, that's it for this. I'm gonna go ahead and pass this off to you all. Let me know what you think about this trailer, what you think about the franchise as a whole, which one's your favorite, what is uh, something you would like to see done with this team or these people or even uh, new characters or actors you'd like to see pop up in the franchise. Leave all that in the comments down below. And if you like this, make sure to go check out my other videos and to like, comment, and subscribe, support the channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video. You all take care.